This is my talking points around the fast that we're on. Thank you for joining me again. I want to talk about two things very, very quickly. One, the physicality, physical issues on the fast. Uh, for me, this is an amazing time. And I've already hit some bumps in the road where I've been lightheaded. And I've had kind of moments where I've been weak. Uh, because I started the fast earlier, and some days I've gone way beyond 6 p.m., and I was doing water only. So listen to your body. If you need to do a juice version of the fast or a Daniel fast, which many people do, eating only vegetables, do whatever you can do that keeps you in the game and keep you on your game, if you will, as it relates to what you do for a living and we want everybody to be strong and healthy through the fast. Some people who are on powerful medications can't fast for long periods of time. Do what you can do. God will see our heart, and it's the intensity of our heart desire and our confidence in his word and his promises to us that releases the results. Now, in case you hadn't heard it yesterday, was in fact a national day to prayer of prayer concerning Houston and national healing. I was with the president on Friday, and as I was in his office, he was saying, I want to broaden this not just to the issue of Houston, very important, and he had a Saturday visit uh, planned for Houston uh, that's now accomplished, and I was excited that he saw that our nation is in turmoil. So I believe that, and I prayed for people from all sectors of life, including government, business owners, uh, people who could help in our urban settings to bring healing, that all of us are going to pray first for supernatural grace on the land, violent stop. Second, prosperity to rise up in urban areas and in rural areas to help people who feel like they're being left behind. And third, that we'll have criminal justice reform go to another level. In light of that, I want to read Isaiah 58, verse 5 and 6. And this is the Fasting God's Way chapter of the Bible. It says, Is it such a fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Wilt thou call this an acceptable fast, an acceptable day of the Lord? And what I hear in this is my weakness, my physical issues, me even showing through religious activity, hey, I'm fasting, man, it's hard. Is it all about you, what you're feeling, or not? Verse 6 goes on to say, Is not this the fast that I've chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke. So I believe God is saying to us, I'm going to loose the burdens, the bondages, the satanic and demonic uh, activity that's going on in the land. I'm going to do it. I, God, going to do it. And then you, in your sphere of influence, you make it easier on your brothers and sisters that are oppressed. I want to thank you for tuning in today, and I want to thank you for praying with us. Father, let your grace move in our lives. Lord, let the wisdom of Almighty God work and empower us so that we will be your witnesses. Let the light of Jesus shine brighter than my political views, my private position. Let people who are racist be delivered and let broken hearts be healed. In Jesus' name, we love you and grace and greetings from the Washington, D.C. area. The Reconciled Church.org. Check us out again.